up and welcome back to another Kitty Powers Love Life. And as usual, we're going to, you know, follow up on our couple. I don't remember. I know it's a female couple. I don't remember the names, though, at the moment. And we already went through one inspection. What? Inspection, not inspection. We already went through one inspection. What? One inspection. And we are currently on... Whoa, wait, come back. Oh, well, forget it. I give up I'm trying to get coins and, and all that I just give up so this Monday February 11th and since it's the new week we do have six days left before wait it says seven days in charge I mean I don't know oh I thought it was saying six days in inspection but it says seven hours in charge they must be coming from work or something. What? 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 Oh, Wendy needs something. I'm about to say, what is going on? Wendy and Florence. That's what it is. I kind of do like how they do have like a camera feed thing. Like, I really do like that idea. Darling, you seem distracted. Don't you want to perform card tricks with me? <laughs> Don't you think you two only be performing some card tricks? So... Honey buns, I'm basically trying a new smoothie recipe, but I can't get it right. Mm. Can you, like, help me out here? <laughs> of course, darling. You've just got to put the right amount of each ingredient in. Help them add the right amount of each ingredient to match their partner's recipe. Are you being... Once the smoothie machine is full, the ingredients will be blended, and you'll see just how accurate you were. Add the ingredients to make the smoothie. Oh gosh, okay, four parts of coconut oil and three parts of manuka honey. I would say, but then So it's making me rich. Um, sorry, I don't really know what I'm doing to be honest. <laughs> I've got to go rich before I literally bomb all over the face. Look at her face, Dad. Oh. Oh dear, I made a disgusting smoothie, and now Florence has got to go in red. <laughs> well. I was to say, uh, hour ago, Wendy said, I had this dream where a zebra is trying to tell me something, but then it turns into a fish. Bizarre. And in the last hour, Florence said, I kind of just left the what? The something. The tumble dryer. That's a job for somebody else. LOLs. I, would up, I wound up watching mindless TV instead. And Wendy replied, I'm getting fed up of your constantly leaving, of you constantly leaving the housework. Whoa, okay. What? Choose a client. <laughs> oh. I don't even remember nothing about this. Oh yeah, I remember I did schedule her something. <laughs> hey, Diva. Thanks for inviting me. What would you like to Talk about. Let's talk what you're about. Yeah, I've got 
like one teeny problemo that basically haven't even been diagnosed yet. Pick a problem. So Florence, what's your biggest unknown problem? Uh, well, Diva, uh, I'm totally not sure how to put this. This tricky customer needs help getting to the root of their problems, so you'll have to tease it out of them by asking them questions. Use information from their kitty feed and profile to work out what their biggest unknown problem is. Oh, for real? Is it a problem with your partner? <laughs> yeah, that's like totes true. Um, her beef here. <laughs> oh, gee, yeah, how do you know all this stuff? Uh, her <laughs> well, you had that in your thing. Um... <laughs> yeah, that's okay. It was her bad habit. Wow, I'm feeling better about it already. So, what are we like going to do about it? Now you've got to decide what to do. The actions you've available depend on the type of problem and what you have in your village. Sometimes you won't be able to take the perfect course of action, but as long as you advise them to do something, it will stop the client from worrying about the problem. Choose an action to find out more information. Schedule some hyper mm. therapy. Super duper. And when would be the best time for Wendy to come and see you? Book their partner in for hypnotherapy to stop them exhibiting their bad habit. If the hypnotherapy works, the problem will soon go away. Um. Well. Awesome! I'll totally make sure she gets here on time. Does she have another problem? Mm -hmm. oh. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna do one. What? Okay, so I'm gonna do one. Thanks, people. Okay, I don't know. What in the world? Oh yeah, I did schedule for today. She's a client. <laughs> I'm here for my hypnotherapy. Or oh, hypnotherapy, one mm. or the other. Hi, Diva. Thanks for inviting me. Yes, my habit of being over emotional is causing some problems. Ah, let's see if we can sort these out. Just relax and close your eyes. We will now travel to the furthest reaches of your unconscious mind. Mmm, <laughs> okay. They need your expertise to help them kick their bad habits. You have a selection of symbols to choose from. Try a random combination to get started and then press the submit button. They will then tell you how they feel about the symbols. If it turns green, then the symbol is in the correct place. If the symbol turns yellow, then the symbol is correct, but it's in the wrong position. Move it somewhere else. If the symbol turns red, then it's incorrect. Don't use it again. Oh Find the gosh. combination to interpret the visions. I tell you, um... Hmm. I can see. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to climb them up. It looks like a horrible, scary place. <laughs> My mind, like the wind, roams freely with boundless energy. <laughs> Is it a boat? <laughs> okay, so this can stay. This, I guess, we call the boat. And this would be dragon. Tell me what you can see with your inner mm. eye. Hmm, I can see a boat. Mm. I can navigate through the turmoils of life in my little boat. Hooray! Mm. And she likes the mm. a dragon. Its primord primordial power is flowing through me. I can achieve anything. You now feel compelled to stop being over emotional. Mm. Yes, it's also obvious. 
Ooh. Wow, I feel much better after that. <laughs> I don't feel like being over emotional anymore. Not for now, anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay, I better be off then. Thanks, Diva. Alright. Alright, so in the last hour, Florence said, Sometimes I have this dream where I'm a cloud just floating in the sky. And in the last hour, Wendy said, I'm not sure, but I think I might have been a comorant in a past life. I have no idea what that is. And in the last hour, Florence said, Chill out time, just slobbing on the sofa. Was just chatting with my fiance, Wendy. Her outfit isn't very fresh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh. oh, I finally got it. A little house, a little dream, a little thing. Imagine it. I just realized the cars are dropping out of the sky. What's going on now? <laughs> Lovely being at home together, isn't it, darling? <laughs> totally. It's basically us two at home together. Oh my god. Like, what am I like going to talk about? Help me. It's time to release the love eggs. Choose a topic. kind of wondering what your favorite type of food was. Mm. My favorite kind of food, let me think. <laughs> well, I'm really into Jamaican food at the moment. Mm. At the moment. You know, Jamaican food, don't you? Um, Booth, Booth Florentine. Po Polo Portafoglio. What? Polo Portafoglio. Goody and Cal Calalusu. Which one is Jamaican? Kalaloo soup? Mm. Like Kalaloo soup? Mm. <laughs> yes, that's right. Kalaloo soup is Jamaican food. Mm. Food is like really cool, huh? <laughs> yes, mm. darling. Everybody has to eat. Mm. The standard of conversation around here is going down here fast. Mm. Oh, well, I'm going to carry on staring vacantly into space mm. now. Okies, you carry on. Mm. I'm like not sure what just happened there. Like me neither, either. <laughs> like for real. <laughs> Alright, in a in an hour, Wendy said. Uh, I mean, an hour ago, Wendy said I actually didn't bother wiping down the paintwork. Who even cares? Not me. Hooray! I wound up staring vaguely into space. And Florence replied, that's like so shady. Not doing your chores is so uncool. And, and last hour, Wendy said, my fiance Florence suggested we get saucy at home. I love a bit of spicy action. And Florence replied, I love getting saucy with you too, babes. It's like so toxic spicy. Alright. 
three hours ago, Florence said, I kind of just br left brushing away cobwebs. That's a job for somebody else. LOL. I wound up bumbling around instead. And Wendy replied, maybe if you spent more time doing your chores, the house wouldn't be so filthy. And, and last hour, Florence said, I'm totally pooped. On to Bettykin. Betty, what's the right type of word? Bettykin. Never is that. Wow, the days are just moving ever so quickly. Five days to inspection. And on that note, I'm going to end this part right here. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Do not forget to thumbs up this video, share with your friends and family, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because what are you doing? And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!